Let us first look at the electrolysis of molten salts of some compound. Molten NaCl, which is an electrolyte, means free sodium ions and chloride ions. So, molten NaCl conducts current with the help of these ions. As electric current is passed through the cell, Cl minus ions are attracted to the anode, which is the positive electrode, and Na plus ions are attracted to the cathode, which is the negative electrode. Both ions are discharged at their respective electrodes with the following reactions. At the anode, two Cl minus ions convert into Cl2 gaseous and two electrons, which is oxidation. At the cathode, Na plus ions get converted into Na, which is reduction. The overall reaction is two Na plus plus two Cl minus gives two Na solid plus Cl2 gaseous. This type of a cell is called as electrolytic cell. Let us take another example. Molten K2SO4. K2SO4 gets converted into 2K plus plus SO4 2 minus. In this case, at the anode, SO4 2 minus ions get oxidized. 2SO4 2 minus gets converted into peroxodiosulfate ion, which is S2O8 2 minus plus 2 electrons. At the cathode, 2K plus plus 2 electrons get converted into 2K, meaning potassium ions are getting reduced. Therefore, the overall reaction is 2K plus plus 2SO4 2 minus gives 2K plus S2O8 2 minus. Right now, we saw the electrolysis of molten salts. Over here, there is no other competing ion for oxidation or reduction. Let us now look at the reduction of salts in an aqueous solution. In this case, the only difference is going to be that water is also going to compete at both cathode as well as anode for oxidation and reduction. But before this, there has to be clarity related to rules about electrolysis in an aqueous solution. Let's look at them. Keep learning with such engaging videos. Download Byju's the learning app today.